Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohammed Ali and in this video tutorial we will start work on our chat app which is just like WhatsApp. So start a new Android project. So let's create this new project and the name of this will be WhatsApp. Okay, so this will be our application name. Click next and you can choose any API level you want. I will choose API 19. Okay. So my suggestion will be to choose to choose the API 19 or any higher level API you want okay and click next choose empty activity click next and the name of our first activity will be main activity and basically this will be our home activity you can say so click finish so you can see that building whatsapp gradle project info so you have to wait for a few seconds so you can see that our new app is launched successfully, I mean the project WhatsApp, a chat app which we are developing using Android Studio with Firebase database. So you can see this is the app files where this is our code file, okay, which is our main activity. activities. So first of all, the main uh, important thing is, as you know that we will be using the Firebase database, so for that we have to connect our Android Studio with the Firebase or you can say it with the Google so then we will be uh, we, we will be able to use the Firebase okay console so how to do that I mean how we can connect our Android Studio with that so here you can see here uh, at the top this small icon then you can see this one okay so how to uh, sign in with your Google account to start adding cloud functionality to your Android applications from Android Studio so first click on this sign in if you have already signed in, I mean, if you are not a uh, very beginner in this, uh, I mean, to the Android Studio and Firebase, then I hope you know that how we connect our Android Studio with the uh, Google, okay? And how we, then we add, uh, connect our app to the Firebase database. This is just for the beginner. I mean, those people who are not familiar with the uh, Android Studio much, okay? So now you can see that it says that is choose an account which is uh, basically this is my Gmail account so it uh, I will click on that so you have to click on your Gmail account I mean to which you want to uh, connect your Android Studio and then uh, you can you will be able to connect your app after it uh, I mean with the Firebase database so then you will be uh, we will be able to use the Firebase services so now you can see that Android Studio wants to uh, access your Google account so you can simply click on allow so yeah that's it okay now you can close your browser okay you can see that we are successfully logged in now you can close your browser and come back to your to the Android studio so here you will be able that is this is my profile picture and this is my email address and name etc okay so in your case here will be your profile picture I mean which Gmail account you have connect or you can say your Google account whatever your Google account profile picture is okay so it will appear here and your email address we have successfully signed in to the uh, sign in our Android studio with the Google account now we will be able to connect our app to the Firebase database but before moving to that we have to set default colors for our this app so how to do that you can simply go to the values and then we have this colors.xml you can see that okay so remove all these default colors we will be using our own colors for this app so remove this and then for the first one which is color primary we can say hash 006257 006257 this is our first color you can see that okay here and now the second color 005048 and this is our color primary dark third color will be hash e6 capital e6 capital e6 capital e6 which is basically the white color okay so yeah that's it for this video in this video we just uh, connect our android studio with the uh, Google with our Google account so that we can use the uh, Firebase services or you can say a Firebase database and Firebase storage for our this WhatsApp chat app which we are developing using Android Studio. So you can see that these are the default colors. Okay, so further we will work in the next video tutorial on it. 
and we will connect our app to the Firebase database. So yeah, that's it for this video. And if anyone is new to our channel, then please subscribe our channel, coding cafe, thumbs up for this video, and see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.